Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and you weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the Beat 97 to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 8.55 a.m. Exclusive to the Beat 97 ABJ. Hello Abuja. You're welcome to Sabi Law on the Beat 97.9 FM Abuja with your favorite law teachers on radio and people who are interested in making you become responsible citizens by teaching you the law and letting you know your rights. Today we are looking at workers. Workers and payment. Workers payment in Nigeria. Sorry I'm laughing but I have to. The topic is very funny today. <laughs> so the topic is can workers be paid in kind instead of cash in Nigeria. Hmm. All right. I can see I can see uh, <laughs> our producer is like what? <laughs> but yes, it happens, you know. So uh, there are some service providers that get to be paid in kind. You know, it could be by supply of goods, it could be by supply of some quote unquote services, services you know. <laughs> now or the, or the office says no money this month, please just accept this yeah, as a payment yeah, for the yeah. Month. So 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 just as part of the intro. Personally, I conducted a case uh, at the EFCC where uh, a Nigerian was collecting goods from a, a foreigner. At some point, the Nigerian and the foreigner fell into love. They started loving each other. Mm. The foreigner even came down to Nigeria. Crazy things no, are at, happening. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at some point, at some point, the Nigerian stopped paying for the goods supplied to him. Okay. He and was paying in other... In, 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 according to him... Other forms of payment. Yeah, he was now paying in, in kind and uh, also using the money to service themselves, you know, pay for <laughs> bills, hotels, and the Now, things went south. Things went wrong and bad. Marriage or love uh, broke, broke up at the rest. So what happened? This foreigner is saying, you have not paid me for goods supplied to you. So EFCC said, Oga, if you have paid, where is the proof? Where is, okay, look at this one. They showed the man. This is your deposit slip mm -hmm. that you've been using to pay. But as from this point, you stopped paying. Yeah, but we are seeing, we are seeing your way bill proof document showing that you've been collecting goods. Good. So the problem became how to explain to them. Probably the man would have kept asking, he would have been collecting proof of payment. Oh, please. <laughs> so, so now to what the law says about, about this that. scenario. The law says that no staff, worker, or employee in any employment whatsoever in Nigeria can be paid all his wages or salary in kind. So, any employment agreement, whether written or unwritten, however, by the way, it is illegal to have an unwritten agreement. Agree employment agreement. Yeah. And I also know that um, on this show, we had warned people that um, employers don't have the right to tell employees what to do yes, with yes, their salaries and wages. Yes, yes yeah. I remember that. So, mm. the law is saying that no matter the kind of agreement you have with your employer, that that mandates or allows your employer to pay you in kind. I know that at times we get desperate when we're looking for work. Don't worry. That agreement is illegal, is invalid. Just speak to your lawyer. Even if you've been eating or, or taking your, your salary in kind, you can stop it now. The agreement you have with your employer that allows that is invalid. That's what the law says. So, no employer, no worker, or sorry, no employee, no worker in Nigeria is permitted to receive salaries in kind. If you are given anything in kind, it's more or less a bonus, you know. You are an adventurer on your own, you I know? must say. You are, mm -hmm. you are on your own because mm -hmm. that is not what the position of the law is. Mm -hmm. Now, what what are the authorities for this, Mr. Kashi? All right, so our authority for this is Section 1 and Section 91 of the Labor Act of 1971. Yeah, it's a 1971 federal law that is still valid and it binds all forms of employment in all parts of Nigeria. Nigeria. 
All right, Abuja, now you know, never collect your salaries in kind. Always ask for your salaries to be paid in cash or, in fact, even cash. Your, it should be money, monetary terms, and there should be proof of payment. One important lesson I've, um, <laughs> I've just learned today is yeah. proof of payment. Yeah. All right, Abuja, keep um, knowing your rights and go Sabi Law till we meet you on um, on the next episode of the Sabi Law on the Beat 97.9 FM, Abuja. Thank you. Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and you weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the Beat 97 to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 8.55 a.m. Exclusive to the Beat 97 ABJ.